Hi, welcome to a short OAB modding video. I'm going to show you how to change the colour on an object that doesn't have a separate texture file. So here we have a block, I've just made this up in Blender now, applied a Blender texture to it, obviously it's red. So we'll close it back down again and we'll open it in Notepad. And the part you're looking for is here, Materials name, the diffuse colour. 1001. Now I believe the last number is for the alpha, making it transparent or not. So if we change that to zero, save it, minimize that, open it up again, obviously it's disappeared now, but it is still there. So we'll go back into Notepad, put the transparency back, and uh, we'll change that one to zero, because that's your red channel, RGB, this will make it green. Ta da! Going back into Notepad again. Obviously, the last one is your blue channel, so putting the one there will make it blue. There we go. And obviously, variations in between will give you all the colours you could possibly wish for. Uh, but there is another little trick to use with this. Uh, I found it the other day while I was Googling. It's this little part here. I'll put a link to this thread in the channels. It's uh, Blender is 0 to 1, but others run from 0 to 255. So the way to work it out is if the RGB colour for GIMP, for example, is 160, then you divide it by 255 and you get a point number. If that makes sense. So whatever colour. So if you look for RGB colours, we'll go for JCB, RGB colours. And there we go. Now here we go, look, 255, 204 and 0. So 255 divided by 255 equals 1. So we'll change our red to 1 and we get 204 divided by 255 equals 0.8 so we'll change our next number to 0.8 and then obviously 0 divided by 0 is 0 that's the calculator yeah, so we'll change that last one to 0 now we'll save the block again Minimize it down, minimize the web page, open him up, and we now have JCB yellow. So, yep, yeah, thanks very much for watching. Catch you next time. Bye.